Barbara Reinhard, Head of Asset Allocation at Voya Investment Management and the new Portfolio Manager for the Global Perspective Strategies. Thank you for tuning in to our quarterly market outlook. While the world is awash with shifting cross currents, the U.S. equity market has been leading the way with support from artificial intelligence capturing investors' imaginations. Europe's war is intensifying and there has been political instability in Russia with Wagner Group's revolt. Twice this year, OPEC has tried and failed to lift the price of crude oil, which is now down about 6% year to date. With these shifting sands, we think the development that matters most to financial assets are inflation, employment, and corporate earnings. First, let's start with inflation. It has fallen a lot in the U.S., and there are reasons to believe further downward price pressures are in the pipeline. We expect two of the big drivers will be rents and used car prices. For rental inflation, the softening in demand means that prices across an array of discretionary services will also decline. For vehicle prices, the coming plunge is being foretold by the steep drop in used car auction prices. The bottom line, core inflationary pressures are indeed fading. Second is employment, another key area of focus for the markets. The message that the trend is still growing, but at a slower pace than earlier this year. We believe the post-pandemic catch-up in the cyclical components of hiring are indeed slowing. The best example of this is the leisure and hospitality sectors, where employment is still below pre-COVID levels, but the rate of hiring has been trailing off in recent months. That leads to thoughts on the consumer. While in good shape, rate of change for consumer spending is indeed slowing. Restaurants, airlines, hotels are all full, but spending is moderating from last year's torrid pace. This is not necessarily a bad development. We see it as part of the renormalization process that has followed the post-COVID boom in spending. Third, we look at corporate earnings. First quarter 2023 year-over-year earnings growth came in slightly positive. Going forward, we think earnings could surprise to the upside as the macro environment in 2Q was much stronger than expected. Despite the banking scare in March, the economy proved to be more resilient with incoming fundamental data topping consensus expectations. S&P 500 second quarter consensus EPS has been cut by just 2% since March. We see several tailwinds going into second quarter earnings, improving macro data, strong earnings guidance, and the more upbeat corporate sentiment. Within the S&P 500, seven of the 11 sectors are expected to see better year-over-year earnings growth this quarter versus first quarter 2023. The recent strength in macro data and the favorable seasonality suggest limited downside to 2023 consensus earnings. In summary, we're cautiously optimistic on the outlook for U.S. equities in the near term. While markets are fluid and can be challenging at times, we believe the clarity around inflation, employment, and corporate earnings are positive developments.